My name is Terry Moran, born on the 23rd of the 4th, 1951, birthplace Liverpool, the front room of a masonette. My earliest memories of a child was living in an old Victorian house having five floors. I lived, I lived there with my mum and dad, three sisters and a brother. One of my earliest memories was the 29th of the 4th, 1956. I was five years old. That night I woke up and I was soaking wet. I woke my sister up and said, Eileen, I don't know what's going on, but we're wet. So we went down to my mum's room and said to my mum, Mum, we're wet. She went upstairs to have a look what was going on. But in them days, you didn't have light bulbs upstairs. That was just too extravagant. So she came down and said, I don't know what it is. And we got in bed with my mum. The next morning I woke up and I said to my mum, are you getting up? She said to me, just go down and put the kettle on for a cup of tea. So I went down and the flames were just right through the floor and hitting the ceiling above. We were taken into the woman's house next door, Lena, and the five of us were put in a bed, which is pictured in the front page of the Liverpool Echo. All our clothes were in the cellar, in a cupboard. Very for about four months from home, because the house was severely burnt. Bearing in mind that we left an old Victorian house where the doors were rattling, the windows were broke, the wind just howled through the house, everything. When we come back, it was like a brand new house. Floors, walls, doors, electrics. Oh, we even had plugs in the living room, which was a first. I left school with GCSEs and was lucky enough to get an apprenticeship. My wife, Carol, I met when I was 17 and married when I was 20. At that time, Carol was on more money than me because I was only on three pounds a week. <laughs> Carol gave me two lovely, two lovely children, Paula and Terry, who've gone on to make a success of their lives. And I have five absolutely beautiful grandchildren that all seem to be doing quite well. Going back to childhood memories, I know we had nothing. And when they say like about the good old days, they weren't good. Because what was good about having holes in your shoes and your bum and your trousers ripped? But we was happy. We always seemed to be happy. We just played in the street. There was no point in going in to sit there with your mum because no one in our street had a television. Just no one had a television. So you might as well have just stayed in the street playing chick and catch the girl, kiss the girl, skipping, swinging around the, the lamppost, hopscotch. Anything to keep yourself occupied. We just didn't have anything. We didn't get sweets. We didn't get biscuits. We didn't get cakes. But what we got was love. We knew we was loved. 